Hello everyone, we are going to create this motion graphics effect with the growth system of the extra notes version 3.0. The setup is really simple and versatile. So let's get started. A quick note, I have released the bug fix version of the extra notes version 3.0. Uh, please download the latest version of the extra notes. So let's continue. First, we're going to add a plane. So this is going to be our host object uh, for the growth. Rename this as curve growth. Okay, let's add the geometry nodes modifier. We don't need the input, group input. Then we're going to add the curve circle. Okay, so let's connect that and make this radius around 0.2. Then we're going to add the curve growth solver node. Okay, so if we run this, you can see that the curve is growing. Okay, uh, but we want to grow this curve along a particular path. Let's change some of the settings of this node. Uh, in this video, I'll mainly cover the settings that are required uh, to make this motion graphics effect. If you want the detailed information about all the settings, you can check this video or you can check the documentation. So let's continue. In the general settings, uh, we're going to make this 3D and here we need to specify the offset. Uh, we're going to use this noise fall off and let's decrease it is uh, amplitude so if we run this then the curve will grow in 3d space okay not in a 2d plane then in the dynamic uh, we're going to increase the growth rate okay something like that and now let's uh, define the force because we want to grow this a uh, curve along a particular path okay so let's add a bezier curve uh, we're going to define the path uh, for this growth so let's add the curve uh, force node uh, then select uh, this curve okay the path and another thing is that you can also add the forces or the other nodes uh, from the asset browser we have added this curve force okay so now if we run this, see our curve is collapsed onto the path. So we have to decrease uh, the radial force. Okay. And then we need to enable the fall off and also adjust the tangential force, the tangent force. Okay. So let's see this fall off. So let's enable this for the radial strength. And then we need to invert this, make this around 0.2 and make this around 0.15 maybe around 0.15 yeah something like that this should be around 0.2 okay the force will be zero uh, near to this curve uh, within this size and it will be non-zero away from uh, this curve or outside this fall of region okay so now let's uh, run this see this path is pulling the curve toward itself and the growth is happening along this curve now let's move this growth along this curve. So we have to increase the tangent strength. Yeah, nice. Okay, now let's add our turbulence to this. So we're going to add the turbulence force and here we need to slightly increase the scale and the strength. So let's see. okay nice you probably noticed that uh, the motion of this curve is not that smooth see uh, we can fix that first uh, we have to decrease the step size okay so let me show you the step size if i make this none uh, this is the length step we have to decrease that so that we have smaller step and now if we run this See it is a bit better uh, from the previous case. Next, we are going to increase the number of sub steps. So let's make this around 20. See, now it is really smooth. Now we can enable uh, the subdivision smooth method for the post processing okay
nice now let's add some variation uh, to this curve first we're going to duplicate on this circle and let's decrease the size and then join them together now we have two curves okay i think we have to slightly change the seed of the turbulence so that we have the curve that reach the other end of this path so let's see okay i like this uh, we can add the variation in the material for example we can add the emission material emission material to the smaller curve and the dielectric material are to the uh, bigger curve okay so let's add the store node to store the mask that uh, we can use in the material okay so let's rerun this and let me show you the mask if i add the name attribute node type mask and see we have mask for the smaller circle okay then we can add the ks uh, curve to mesh node uh, we can convert this curve into a mesh let's change this to circle also increase the resolution around maybe 24 so that we have a smooth surface uh, for this curve okay now let's add a material to this so create a material and then select the material here and enable the selection so now if we go to the material preview we have this material now let's add the attribute node then type mask see we have this mask uh, we're going to add the multiply node and then plug that into the emission strength okay and for the bigger circle we're going to make it is color uh, slightly dark or uh, something like that and also increase the roughness around 0.6 okay so now if we increase this value we can control the emission strength right now it is emitting the light uniformly and there is no surface feature uh, to this light so let's add a layer weight so that we have some surface feature uh, to this light so let me duplicate this and then plug that into this and after that we're going to add the ramp node so that we can control uh, the a uh, fall off for the facing and let me flip this and increase this around 0.75 see see we have really nice fall off from the center to the edge of this surface okay are uh, we going to make the edge value maybe around 0.1 should not be zero because we want some light from the edges and let me make this around five and then we can change the color maybe something like this orange See, so this is without this layer weight and this is with the layer weight see next we're going to add the lighting uh, to this and let's find a nice angle uh, to this maybe something like that okay so let's adjust the camera view so first we're going to add the area light so let me add the area light and let's move that to the top okay then we're going to duplicate this and add near to the this end of this curve maybe something like that maybe we can make this as dim and this slightly brighter okay and then we're going to duplicate again and we're going to add the backlight so that we can separate this uh, from the background <clears throat> so let's duplicate this light again and add the highlights for this region okay nice probably not that and let's also duplicate that and add that from this region okay so let me see what if i make this all really dark something like that nice next we can add the depth of field to this so let's add the 3d cursor 
uh, then we are going to add the empty object so let's rename this as focus and after that we are going to select that here in the depth of fields so let's add this empty object and uh, decrease the f stop maybe around 0 0.25 0 0.35 I think we need to adjust our camera so we can animate the depth of field and that will give really nice effect okay this is how you can easily create this kind of motion graphics with this curve grow system of the extra nodes now I will break down one of my project files in that I use different forces okay so this is the project file in this case we have three circles and then we run the curve growth system in the presence of central force and the vertex force in the central force we have added this fall off let me go to this point the force is uh, is non-zero at the outside and zero when they approach near to the center of this region i have also added this vertex force to rotate this growth around the center point okay so this is mainly the entire effect and let me show you the settings so this is the 2d effect then we have the simulation settings then we have the dynamic settings and after that we don't have any surface or the collision okay uh, this is it i hope you learned something from this video if you want to study the project files they are available on my patreon page so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noding bye